Number nine, the band KISS still has some rabid fans, but they've been mocked over the years for their willingness to put their name on just about anything that will make them some money. Nothing exemplifies that more than this, the KISS casket. The marketing opportunity presented itself in 2010 oh when they entered an agreement with a company that makes memorial products. Oh, that's nice. It's not just the casket that you can get, they also have memorial candles and cremation mm. urns. When they released this stuff, Gene Simmons said, I love living, but this makes the alternative look pretty darn good. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, that's how you know your key demo is aging out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, number eight. Uh, she's one of the most female, famous female writers of all time, but Jane Austen's first novel didn't even have her name on it. Sense and Sensibility was first published in London on October 30th, 1811. It was anonymous. Austin was not credited. Instead, it said, written by a lady. Yeah. A lady. Which in and of itself was a big deal back then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, Boy, they... let's just look at this moment here with Mr. Harrison. Uh, yeah. I met Lucy when I was very young. Eleanor. Hey, well, hey, well, hey, well. Had I had an active profession, well, I should never have yeah, right. hey, well. He looks troubled. Oh. Yeah. Is he so, this guy ever and get out in the sun? It was very wrong. Yeah. 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 Tasty. Yeah, they're Quite all kind of tasty in the Jane Austen movies. Yeah, but hmm. all right, number seven. This time of year, there is an issue that keeps tearing at the fabric of our great nation, right. pulling us apart, putting us under the very things that keep us together. I am talking about whether you're supposed to call it a cornucopia or a horn of plenty. Oh yeah. Hmm. In both cases, it is a symbol of abundance about how much we are blessed. Cornucopia is an almost literal translation from Latin of horn of plenty. Oh. And the horn was a real thing, a wicker basket used to carry the harvest. But can't we just settle on one? Boy, I don't ever say that either one, <laughs> really. You don't say either one. Do you have one of those? I don't yeah. have one of those in my house. I like the word horn. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. Horn, no, old, horn, horn old plenty is kind of Horn old plenty sounds like it could be a little dirty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all right. So I like it so much. Horn old plenty. Uh, number six, there's nothing more fun than a trip to New Jersey. I mean, listen, anyone can go to Paris. So common. Hawaii, come on, two islandy. Florence, Italy, why bother? Yeah. Especially now that you can take a Jersey tour inspired by food from the Sopranos. It includes a stop at Pizza Land off the Belleville Turnpike, the Skyway Diner, Tony's favorite onion rings, and of course a stop at uh, Satin Dolls. That's the real life location of the Bada Bing, the strip club where Tony and his crew like to hang out. Now, when you go back to Jersey, do you hit all those touristy oh, spots? Oh, all those spots. Yeah. We put my mom in the back seat yeah. and take a drive down the turnpike. <laughs> yeah, take pictures in oh, front of the Soprano's house. That's oh, great. I love it. That's fun. Number five, here's a fun way to reduce, reuse, and recycle roads made of plastic. A company called Plastic Road is behind this. They say the roads last three times longer than traditional paved roads, and the prefabricated pieces can be constructed 70 times faster. They're also hollow on the inside, which helps with water storage during heavy rains. These plastic roads have already been used for bike paths in the Netherlands. It's not clear how they'd hold up in Chicago winters. Yeah. Well, what we're doing now is working so yeah, it's well. Great. <laughs> consider anything else at this point. Huh. All right, number four. It looks like a tiny robot, and uh, The Verge uh, called it a home surveillance camera for happy memories. This is a Canon PowerShot PX. It's always watching and always taking the picture. Oh, great. Yeah, the camera's stationary, so you can put it on what a table. the heck? Or on a <laughs> shelf, and it scans the room, pans in or tilts, and finds anything worth capturing. It also uses facial recognition to identify and prioritize the important uh -huh. people in your life. It also takes candid shots, so you don't have to mm. pose for pictures. Yeah. And it just knows when a moment uh, is ready to be taken. It debuts this month in Europe before rolling out here soon. It's gonna only cost you $600. It seems like the father ran away from his family because he couldn't stand their narcissism anymore. <laughs> yeah. There's no dad in any of these shots. No, he's why, left. Why are you, why would you want that running all the time? 
Unless... For the gram. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, you know what, you're right, Larry. automatically loaded onto it. I forget I'm talking to a team of influencers yeah. here, mm -hmm. and you guys, you know, By you're Larry, right. your gram is so OP lately. <laughs> you have just been yeah. crushing it. Yeah. It's giving yeah. me all the feels. Yeah. Yeah. You I just figured out how to log in. It's last a week. mood, is what it is. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. A mood, yeah. Blessed. Um, number three. Here's a great video from a Hang Glider in Switzerland. Oh, wow. Named, oh, named Wolfgang that. Sees. That's oh, a good name. my lord. Not enough Wolfgangs out there, right, Paulie? You're yeah, right about that, yeah. Look at that. Oh. How did he get back? That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. Where did he end up? Part? should check out his Instagram page. Uh, oh. Here he's flying above the, the clouds. Yeah. What the heck? But I mean, that little ramp he went down. Yeah. It looked like it was constructed in the 16th century there. Yeah. That could have gone bad. Yeah. Well, oh. what's life without a little risk, Robin? Yeah. Yeah. You know this ab yeah. among all people. You're right, I'm an adventurer. All right, number two, let's talk about the hobble skirt. Ooh. Ooh. I guess this was popular during yeah. the Edwardian era. Oh, yeah. That a hobble was, was a long skirt with a narrow hem. It tied the knees together with a bit of ruffle around the ankle. It earned the nickname because the women who wore it were forced to hobble because they obviously couldn't walk very fast. Mm -hmm. It The trend didn't last very long because, as you can imagine, it was cumbersome. You couldn't climb a fence. Look, no. if you oh, need help. Yeah. That was the biggest problem. But maybe that was part of the, the, the <laughs> trick. Oh, boys, I need help. I can't right. climb this Lift fence. Lift me over. Uh, in the 1940s, though, Christian Dior found the skirt and brought it back again. Only this time, he did away with the ruffles and go. chopped off the bottom to create what is now known as yeah. the pencil skirt, mm, which uh, stops at the knee. Uh huh. Really? Isn't mm. that fun? Love a pencil skirt. Can't oh, beat doesn't? it. Very flattering. Number one, we told you yesterday about this guy, Jim Steinman, who wrote a huge number of hits like Total Eclipse of the Heart and songs for Meatloaf. And those two were so close that when Steinman died this year, Meatloaf said, we belong heart and soul to each other. Oh, no. So back in 1981, Steinman had a whole batch of songs for Meatloaf to record. This was to be the follow-up to Bat Out of Hell, which sold tens of millions, but Meatloaf was really worn down by the excesses of touring. Yeah. His voice was shot, so Steinman just decided that he would record the album and ah. sing the songs himself. Here's the title track, Bad for Good. The sky is whipping the sea. Oh, this is you so can good. hide away forever from the storm, but you'll never hide away from me. You know I'm on to your scent. We're near the end of the chase. Take a look out the window, and I'll be there in the night. Oh, your love is so close that I can almost what? taste it. What's going on here? Yeah. Like yeah, Meatloaf would have done something yeah. like this, but. Uh oh, yeah. what happened there? Oh. Half jerk. Larry, that's like that mesh half shirt yes. that you used to wear all the right. time. <laughs> Paul used to wear those to church, right? Yeah. Me and my mom had matching ones. Look at this. It's like a dance. Oh. Yes. Uh. Oh, she woke up. Oh, oh wait a minute. There's two. Oh, this is what? probably three. Oh, are you doing? She's not going to be able to sleep with oh, all this. Going on. Wake up call. <laughs> is she dreaming or is this real? I don't see yes. Oh, wait. Here comes Steinman. <laughs> what? Oh, no. This is starting to look a little this, bit inappropriate. It sure like does. an episode Looks of River Dance or something. What is going on? Well, let's see how it ends. Got to wait now that you've got our interest, Pete. Oh. oh, now she's dancing back. Oh, no. Whoa. She doesn't want the professional dancers. Oh, she wants Steinman. No shirt look. The, I was fun? Stop reading my mind. Yeah. I was going to say, look. vest. Right? <laughs> it's the Aladdin look. The vest with no shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Just an alternative Always. on when you don't want to wear that mesh crop top. It's just mm -hmm. something for the uh, op yeah. opposite yeah, days. Vests are so hot right now. We're going to do Vest you know. Tuesdays from now on. All three yeah, of us I'm wear in. a vest. Yeah. That's a great idea. I wonder how that ended, though. Oh, I was going to say, we're going to see how that ended? We oh. cut out at the, the best yeah. part. I, I don't know. She's got some friends that are going to show up. Did right? she end up with Vesti well, or with somebody else? Maybe we have our number one for tomorrow. Ah. Huh. All righty. Well, stay tuned for that. That's a great tease there. Hit me, baby, night, night. Ooh. 